All right, welcome to episode two of the Sig Chrome Mustang project. Charlie, we've got that engine clean. What's the plan for this motor now? Okay, well the plan now is we, we crack test the block, uh, make sure it's all sound. Then from there, we select the pistons that we're gonna use, what oversize we need to go, and then we can start on the machining, basically. What are we retaining from that engine that came with the car originally? Not a lot, really. Mainly the block, obviously, and the, the crankshaft and the conrods. That's about it. So pistons, are we going to go for forged or cast? So we've ended up with a forged piston, which makes me sleep better at night. Yeah. Now we've built it nice. And what are we going to do in terms of cylinder heads? Cylinder heads, uh, there'll be an aftermarket aluminium cylinder head, and we'll re-machine the surfaces and basically uh, recut the seats. So with your camshaft selection? Camshaft selection, we decided to go with a, a hydraulic roller cam, around about 230 duration and 235. And with the hydraulics, it's just maintenance free. While Charlie was busy with the motor, we went to see just how much of the Mustang was left after being sandblasted. Cars of this age are often riddled with rust, so we had our fingers crossed for a good result. Alrighty, this is Darren Phoebe from JRT. We paint the supercars, but they're also helping out with the Mustang. Mate, this is a pretty nice surprise after the blasting. Absolutely, yeah, it is a nice surprise. Really, really tidy shape. I was surprised. I mean, the car was a cracker car from the beginning, but uh, yeah, after it's been to the media blaster, it looks a ripper. Mm. Really good. I mean, this bit with the door hinge and the rear spring hanger is kind of the worst part. Yeah, I think so. A little bit of porosity here and there, a few uh, pinholes overall. Yeah, really good. And even blasting, you think that must get rid of everything because it's such a harsh process. But that's not necessarily true, is it? No, it's not. So some of the glues, some of the body shoots that goes underneath, simple things like decaling can be a real problem to get off. So it's the old manual process is probably the best way. Yeah. Before and after. So um, we will blast two coats of epoxy primer in every crevice we can get to. Mm -hmm. Then enables everybody to handle it and do the repairs and all the things that are necessary through the rest of the project. Awesome. Well, let's get some paint on this thing. The Sigcro Mustang is being built in a pro touring style, which means that the standard suspension, brakes and steering are all being upgraded using Aussie-made RRS gear. On top of that, we're going to add massive Herrick brakes and cutting edge forge line wheels. We're here with Heath Moore from Harrop. Mate, tell us about the process of getting, firstly getting those brakes on and then figuring out how those wheels are going to sit in a car that wasn't designed for them. Absolutely, Simon. So, being a resto mod or pro touring style build, the, the guys at Sid Chrome and Team 18 had an idea of how they wanted the car to look and, and the stance. Yep. So, Simon, our design engineer, went down to the car and with the RRS components, took all the critical measurements of where the caliper is going to sit, the offset of the rotors. So, it's a 15 inch or 381 mil front rotor with a six piston caliper and a four piston on the back with a 14 inch or 356 mil rotors. And then the wheel fitment's built over that. So the guys at RS have done a shortened nine inch diff and that's enabled us to get the brakes further inboard and to create the wheel design that's got more dish to give that sort of really muscular look in the rear. And that's one of the great things with forge line wheels. They dominate that resto mod pro touring market. Back at Saliba Engines, Zon takes us through the process of balancing the pistons to ensure that our Mustang's Windsor V8 will run as smoothly as possible. The process is we'll balance all the pistons exactly the same. So make all your heavier ones to your lighter one. Then with your conrods, we weigh all the big ends, make them all the same. And then once you've done that, we do the small end, which we actually do a total weight. And we just subtract the total weight off the big end, gives us a small end weight. And then what we do is we make up a bob weight, which represents the pistons, rings, small end, big ends, and set of shelves. So we can balance the crankshaft up, and this being the bob weight, represents all those weights. So we now can balance a V8. And this job started out at um, 73 grams out, and 84 grams, and now she's 0 0.1, 0 0.2. I'm happy with that. Our next port of call was to visit Peter Murnain at Personal Panel and Paint. He's the man who's going to repair the rusty sections of the Mustang and make sure all the panels fit well and are ready for paint. The body is primed and ready to go. Mate, what did you think of the condition of the car? 
Yeah, very good, very good. Um, a lot of people buy a cheaper car and they buy a lot of problems. Yep. This car has got a little bit of work to do, but basically it's a very good car and it'll make a very good product when it's finished. And what have you got stuck into first? Doing the hinge pillars first, they were both a bit rusty at the top. So that underneath here, there was a main brace which we've put one end in, put a new section over there. This section will fit in here and then this section will go back under here. So they'll all be welded in back to uh, original strength because they need to be strong to support the doors. Right, so the, probably the worst rust in the car is in this back panel, yep. which looks a bit terrifying if you look in there and even up here. Yeah all through there, so what's your plan to repair this? This will come off the whole back panel, so that comes back from underneath here, around inside the quarter panels and across the back. Most of it is actually in this back panel, which comes as a single piece. Right. So uh, it's worth doing it properly now and getting a long result for the uh, lucky person that wins this car.